Vsauce, I'm Jake, and where are we? I honestly have no idea how we got here or where here is. Hello? Hello? Maybe the person in the house has some information. What? On my arm? Loop. Yes! Okay, okay. We were talking about time travel, weren't we? And in pop culture, there are different types. For example, mental time travel. <sighs> mental time travel in pop culture is when you physically don't go back in time. That is to say that your body doesn't travel backwards in time, but your mind does. This can be seen in movies like Groundhog Day or Edge of Tomorrow, where they remember future events even though they're in the past. I wonder, hmm. Maybe if I throw some of these rocks up there, we can get someone's attention. Ugh. Hello? Nothing. Now, mental time travel, or MTT, is very curious because it avoids a lot of potential paradoxes by also allowing you to potentially influence the future, which a loop does not. I wonder. Hmm. It's open! Come on! One of the problems with MTT is the Cassandra Dilemma, which is when correct future predictions or warnings are ignored. If you could see the future, and you decided to tell everyone about it, who would believe you? You'd probably just be dismissed. Hmm. Footnote! The Cassandra Dilemma originated from a Greek myth about the aforementioned Cassandra, the daughter of the King of Troy. The Greek god Apollo fell in love with her and gave her the gift of prophecy. But when she did not reciprocate his feelings, Apollo made it that no one would ever believe the prophecies she'd seen, even if they were true. And speaking of seeing, I wonder if from up here, we can better see where we are. Uh, okay, let's come back inside. So that was definitely me down there, but I'm also up here, which means that this can't be mental time travel. But the loop thing does make a lot more sense now. I mean, there's also another type that you might have seen before called VHS time travel or video cassette time travel, where the present is analogous with a play button and the past with rewind. As you go backwards through time, you see everything that has happened on that timeline without being able to interfere or be seen. And fast forward would bring us into the future or to the present time where we originally started. What we are currently experiencing isn't VHS time travel either because I was able to interfere by writing this note, a very poor note that didn't really tell me what was going on. I probably should have written something better, like it's a loop. Yes, okay, do we have a pen in my pocket? All right, it's a loop. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> you know, I should have remembered about those rocks. That, that was my bad, but it's all right. We'll just go, we'll wash this off. I'll write it again. This door is now open, strangely. Actually, this is all pointing to a time loop. And you decided to tell everyone about it. Now, we have to be very careful to avoid running into our past or future self. I mean, I don't really know what happens, but according to pop culture, it's not good. All space and time could disappear. All realities we know it might vanish. Your mental state might just be even worse than mine, and it's not good. Let's check. As I was saying before, what we are currently experiencing is a kind of time loop. It's an isolated sequence of events where one action is the cause of the next, and it just continues on forward until we reach our final event, which is generally the cause of the first event, if not the first event itself. And then we just go around and around. This brings up an interesting philosophical dilemma, which is that if everything that will happen has already happened, if everything is just a complete copy of the previous sequence, can anything be changed? If I were to stand up right now and walk out that door, would I be making my own choice? Or would it be the same choice that a previous version of me made? How many times has this happened? How would you ever know what was your own decision 
or one already decided for you. The dilemma becomes knowing you don't have freedom of choice, but still acting like you do. The causal loop is unchanging. There is no free will, there is no origin. It resets every time, so you can't learn from your mistakes because you can't remember them. We should move though before Bathroom Jake gets out. So how did the loop begin? Well, that's the problem, that's the paradox. There is no beginning and there is no end. There is no escape. Ask yourself, if you're watching this video, are you also in a loop? How do you know that you're not reliving the same moment in time again and again and again? You can remember the past, but you can't remember the future. You know, this reminds me of a quote by author Douglas Adams. This is rather as if you imagine a puddle waking up one morning and thinking, this is an interesting world I find myself in, an interesting hole I find myself in. Fits me rather neatly, doesn't it? In fact, it fits me staggeringly well. Must have been made to have me in it. This is such a powerful idea that as the sun rises in the sky and the air heats up and as gradually the puddle gets smaller and smaller, frantically hanging on to the notion that everything's going to be all right because this world was meant to have him in it. It was built to have him in it. So the moment he disappears, catches him rather by surprise. You know, we always try and hold on to the past. This is the last door. Might as well give it a try, huh? There's another kind of time travel, a wormhole. Something that takes you from one point in space and time and places you somewhere else. It acts as a time bridge connecting one place to another, continuing my causal loop. And, as always, thanks for watching. I just quickly wanted to thank Timeless on NBC for not only co-producing this video, but also sponsoring this video and supporting Vsauce. If you're into time travel and the butterfly effect and things like that, I would highly recommend checking out Timeless. There's a link right here, a little card's gonna pop in, and a link at the top of the description. Okay, I'm gonna try and get out of this causal loop, but uh, thanks, thanks for watching, you know? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.